think you're safe because you're over there. Jake. He is beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> I planned a perfect second outing for us. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! These cowardly fools under Steric have built their own prisons. They could be building gangs instead. No, no, no. Why build when you can even flow like the sea? I would not believe to give them back. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? It's not building. I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. Oh. Now, where is that statue? You do with a bit of a change up there. Unlikely, I think. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw who painted it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? Shards down the sewers, sir. Do you travel much, then? Not nearly so much as I'd like Of course it's sewers. <laughs> Why the bloody sewers? Wasn't Starrick who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards.
Miss Cadwallad. What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. S <laughs> You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. Yeah! <laughs> Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. If one of the productions pleases me, Ah, the father. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security. One, Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away.
Please give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland Yard. Huh? What? 
swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Let's see what Where happened. are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do? Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us.
This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Sterik's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. A man like Sterik built a world around his own desires. <laughs> Funk in you. You must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. Whatever shall I do? I'll avenge you. That's one. Set.
All rigged up. Perfect! Let's put our plan into action. Stand back! Ready! Wait! Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starrick uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon, you will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not. Gifts, sir, from Mr. Rock. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation.
definitely come into his own this season. Hey, but is that really you? Please put on your mask and join this group. Please join the Usher's group to be escorted. May I ask the mask guests to line up over here, please? The doors will open shortly. Please don your masks. You want a mask? Talk to the man over there. The doors will open shortly. Please don your masks. When will the doors open? Please join the Usher's group to be escorted into the theater. Mask guest, this way. Are you looking for me? See Mask that man? Guess, this way. He only lets people who have masks enter. That's just about Wherever fine. Let's put you in bed. I'll smack the Please attitude out of you. Hear me? And join this group. Masks only. And I'm not your pal. Oh, 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 oh. for tonight's performance. Then let's proceed. Madame et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by.
Let me out! I need to lower the grid for the show! We have a volunteer! A big round of applause for this brave, brave man! Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. You lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point-blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? <laughs> Where is he? Will our honored guest go unharmed? Now we're talking! We bred her up. Let's put our hardiness to the test. Looks like trouble is brewing. Some like stress, Marcin! What a thrill! Do not fret, my friends. It's all part of the show. Please stay with us as we prepare you know what? for the next. That rough fella can go hang himself. No. Oh Don't my! You know he's no good, Are Jim. Your principles Don't treat any of us right. Dear. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Who's over there? Thanks. the second time. The hunt, now a search for want rather than need. If he's not wroth, leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. We found a suitably flat-headed gentleman for this one. You, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you that is the case. You want a piece of me? I have no doubt that you can hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friend. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws That's his knife at the it's apple, much slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? Oh! 
Show yourself! <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 Huh? Huh? Join me for the Baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? Damn this place from hell to Hackney. I'll never make it out alive. This place from 
hell to hack me. has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on, better to get visual verification. If we're gonna move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, 
We have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Well, impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. The nerve of Evie. Treating me like a child. 